Happy Holidays, or if you're watching this in some other month, hello. My name is Polly, and I'm uh, going to show you a quick little tutorial on how to do a shaky cam using Blender. Now, um, I posted this on BlenderArtist.org, and um, had some questions asking me, "How? Oh, hey, how did you do that um, shaky cam effect on your video? That's pretty cool. And uh, the bad news is, I didn't do it in Blender, I did it in After Effects. But... Um, what I come to realize is not everybody has After Effects and some people want to do it directly in Blender, which is totally cool. So I went ahead and put together a little test and figured out how could I do that exactly in Blender? Do I have to do that with scripting or what do I have to do? Well you don't. There's actually uh, options in Blender to be able to randomly affect the movement of your camera. So go ahead and set up a scene where you have, a, you know, you can have whatever you want. I had a plane down here earlier and a block, you know, you don't even really need this Plane, but whatever. We're going to be uh, focusing on this block. If I hit my zero key and to look through the camera, I made a small little movement from frame zero to frame 250 where it's just a little location and rotation movement. So entered keyframe um, on zero and 250 to whatever movement you want and then let's get started on changing that camera. First thing you do is you have the camera selected so you have camera selected and then go into your graph editor and then we're going to select location on your graph editor and that'll highlight the location keyframes and then we're gonna go to key add F curve modifier or shift control M and then you're going to select noise actually I don't know why I shrunk that but we're going to leave the blend type to replace and the scale right now if, I, if you zoom in here it's um, it's modifying the scale uh, or excuse me it's modifying the position on your x-axis for the location now right now if we go back and take a look at it it's somebody's like having a freaking fit so we're going to go back in there and we're going to fix that so go to graph editor and then go to the scale on the noise for the X and change that to 15 that will smooth it out and then for the strength we don't want it that much because it's still it's a lot of movement so change it to 0.2 and then for your phase we're going to change that to 2 and all that does is it shifts the um, the actual phase of the modifier just a little bit so it's it's not the same, and we're going to actually be doing that for the rest of the um, um, the rest of the um, locations. So let's click on the Y location. Go to key. Add F curve modifier. Noise. Replace. Change the scale to 15. Change the strength to 0.2. Change the phase to instead of two this time, we're we'll switch it to four. So that way it's different from. Um, the X, and then we'll do the same thing for the Z. Add modifier, noise, 15.2, and then 6 instead of 4. So now it's 2, 4, 6. And we're also going to go ahead and have it rotate a little bit um, with the modifier as well. And we're going to choose the rotation uh, for the Z axis. That noise same fifteen point two and then we'll do eight for that one so it's different. Now they all look real nice and you can barely see the movement, but it is moving. Now if we I'm gonna pull out here and make sure everything's nice and smooth like that. Oh my god. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fix this. This is um the Z rotation. So let's uh, go to the strength because obviously it's too strong. And let's switch that to 0 0.005. And there we go. All right, that's a little bit more. Yeah, that's a little bit more in line of what we want to do. Wow, that was a little nuts. Okay, so let's uh, now take a look at our animation and see how it runs. And there you go. 
you have a little bit of a shaking cam and you can adjust it to whatever you want for how much shakiness you want and just kind of play with it and uh, see what you can get but that's kind of the basics of how you could do a shaky cam in Blender. I hope this tutorial helped and um, I hope to see not a billion shaky cam videos on YouTube but you know what if it makes you happy do it. Alright guys take care.